our friend, old and new, welcome. My name is Tufik Baklini, and I am the president of In Defense of Christians, IDC. We are America's leading voice for Christians in the Middle East and everywhere they are persecuted. 2020 has witnessed many obstacles for persecuted Christians across the globe, and we are working harder now more than ever to respond. We have seen historic milestones for religious freedom and religious pluralism from the United States government over this year, including President Donald Trump's executive order advancing international religious freedom and the recognition of the Armenian Christian genocide in Congress. We want to thank President Trump for what he's done. No other president in U.S. history has done for the Christians all over the world. And I also want to thank Vice President Pence and Secretary of State Pompeo and the Acting U.S. Aid Administration Administrator John Barsa for their work elevating international religious freedom on the global scale. The executive order complements high-level engagement at the United Nations on international religious freedom. The new partnership initiative, which is funding Christian development projects in Lebanon, as well the continuation of support for Christians and Yazidis who are recovering from the ISIS genocide in Iraq and Syria. We also want to thank Majority Leader Mitch McConnell and, speak, and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi for their leadership on recognition of the Christian genocide committed by the Ottoman Empire against Armenians, Greeks, Assyrians, Chaldeans, Syriacs, Arameans, Maronites, and other Christians. Congress made history last year, and we must work to ensure this genocide is properly, properly recognized by the U.S. government and every level, from the White House to the State House. In addition to these accomplishments, IDC has served a voice for the voiceless. Of the midst of incredible adversity, Christians in Africa and the Middle East have faced this year. We have been calling for the U.S. to send a special envoy to Nigeria. There is a Christian genocide happening, and it must stop right away. We have been leading the fight against Erdogan and his dangerous neo-Ottoman vision for the Middle East. We are combating his intolerance towards Christians in Turkey, as well his persecution of Christians in countries such as Cyprus, Syria, Nigeria, and elsewhere. Tonight, I call on the U.S. government to sanction Turkey for violation against international religious freedom, as well as state-sponsored Christian persecution. Before the tragic August 4th explosion in Beirut, we have already been working with the Trump administration and Congress to urge them to take proactive action to prevent Lebanon from destabilization in the midst of the political uncertainty that Lebanon is currently experiencing, we are working tirelessly to advocate for strong U.S. engagement to preserve the last bastion of Christianity in the Middle East. Tonight, I call on the Senate to adopt Senate Resolution 682 in response to the August 4th explosion. I want to thank senators Menendez and Rich for their leadership on this. Friends, it's an honor to have your support once more. I hope you are inspired and energized. And hearing this evening's speeches from faith leaders and policymakers.